Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop and welcome back to my channel where I make a lot of cake and cookie decorating tutorials as well as give a lot of baking business tips. Now today is a little bit of a different video where I'm going to be talking about how I throw children's birthday parties. Now I love a good over the top party but what I don't like is I don't like having a lot of stress as I'm preparing for them. So these are the steps that I go through to ensure that I have a smooth but fun birthday party with a beautiful dessert table. So admittedly, things have been a little bit hectic the last few weeks at my house, so I did pare down and I made this a little bit more simplistic for myself. I really went with theme this time around for the goodie bags, and I just decided to go the easy route with this. But what I like to do is I always like to personalize things, and I made these cookies a couple of days in advance. Now if you want to make them well, well in advance to really, really ease that stress, then go ahead, make them, decorate them, freeze them, and then you can take them out of the freezer, make sure that you let them thaw completely before opening up that container and they will be good to go. Also make sure if you are going to be packaging cookies that you do either heat seal it or put it in a cellophane bag and then place it in your goodie bag. For me, goodie bags always act as double duty. So yes, they're obviously great to give to the kids, but they're also really important to have on that dessert table to give you a little bit of extra oomph. So I always try to make sure that they look presentable. My next little tip for you is go with a fake cake. If you are crafty enough to make your own cake, definitely go with a fake base. That way you can work on it for as long as you want. And for me, I always work on the cake last after everything else so that I can make sure that I can utilize that leftover time to put as much detail or as little detail as I want on that cake. Another great party favor that I always use are cake pops. The reason is is because I can make these in bulk and freeze them and just have them ready on the go whenever. I usually go for a simplistic cake pop, so something that either has a drizzle or just some sprinkles on them. Cake pops are also one of those desserts that really, really brighten up a dessert table. You can level them, and what I mean by that is, as you can see on this stand, it's kind of like a staircase, and you can have very large cake pop stands as well. Really adds that extra oomph, and you can also tie in any of your colors. The other thing too is if you have tempered your chocolate correctly or if you've used candy melts, they do really, really well in any temperature. Very rarely do I have melting cake pops. And actually, when I brought these cake pops to the venue, it was quite warm in there and nothing happened to these cake pops. So they're reliable and easy to transport and they're a total crowd pleaser, especially with children. The next thing I like to do is I like to make my buttercream a little bit in advance. This works well if I'm going to do something like cupcakes. And if you really, really don't want to have any extra steps, I do suggest that you go for American buttercream. It has a better shelf life and you don't need to reheat or do anything. You really just need to re-whip it. And again, this is something that you can do well in advance. You can freeze the cupcakes so you can decorate them later. That was Rachel showing off this gluten-free cupcake that she also offers at her shop. Macarons are also a great thing to have on hand at all times because again, you can make them in advance and they keep in the freezer really, really well for a long duration of time. Now as the kids get older, they want to go to different venues rather than having it in the home, which means that when I'm planning my dessert tables, I really need to think about things like delivery and how I'm actually going to make all the products arrive in one piece. So all of those things like the cupcakes, we put into bakery boxes and just make sure to lie them flat in the trunk. The cake pops traveled on their stand that they're sitting in, and then the cake is the tricky part. So the cake was on my lap, and I held that top portion of the cake that is real and not secured to the top in my other hand. Luckily, it was only a 15-minute drive. The other thing I have to think about when I'm not throwing a party in my home is I have to think about how I'm going to create a space that is very, very themed. Now this place was actually pretty vast with its party area, so it was really important that I made sure not to spread out that decoration. Your party table will look much fuller if you just make sure to compact everything together. Now I didn't have any varying levels on that party table unfortunately, so I really just went with making sure that the shells and that netting helped me with that theming. I also made sure not to bring too many things because the more things you bring, the more stressful it can be. Now let's get into our subscriber submission of the day and this cake is absolutely stunning and if you can believe it, this was not done with buttercream but it in fact was done with whipping cream and I'm always so impressed when whipped cream can look like that. So be sure to go and drop them a like, a comment, and a follow on Instagram. 
And if you want to be my next featured subscriber on this channel, be sure to tag me in whatever photo that you would like me to share online, or you can also message me on Instagram at SD Bake Shop. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading weekly, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye!